So, again, just to summarize, what don't we know? We know little about the influence of new services in compromised conditions. We don't know how uh, these uh, implant surfaces, S-Selective, which has been around for a while, and in particular rock solid, perform in compromised conditions, such as osteoporosis and diabetes. Why are these a problem? Well, osteoporosis is a problem because the quality and quantity of mineralized tissue is reduced. And diabetes is a problem because, as I'm sure most of you appreciate, the wound healing is significantly compromised under diabetic conditions. So although we know that osteoporosis and diabetes have a negative effect on bone healing and osteogenesis, this has been biologically established, uh, the clinical influence is, is relatively unknown. Okay, so we don't really know, there's no evidence, that, a great deal of evidence, that these actually cause a significant problem clinically. But we have to keep in mind that this is not, these are not studies that are easy to do clinically because it's not easy to place knowingly implants in patients who, are not, who don't have controlled diabetes, for example. Right? So, but the likelihood is that over time you're going to encounter those patients. So let's talk about what we are, uh, how these implants perform in compromised uh, conditions. So we, the story starts with this pilot study that we did in uh, sheep mandible. And this sheep mandible model, whereby we placed implants in the inferior border, is one of very low mineralized tissue type for bone. You can certainly feel it when you're placing the implant. The cortical plate is, is okay, so we can get good primary stability, but the Cancellous bone is very much type 4 type bone. So, and you can certainly feel it when you're placing those implants.